Today we're gonna to be 3D printing a lock. This lock is really cool. It's got six digits, which is way more than you would ever need, and it is very awesome. This lock also has interchangeable codes, so you can put whatever code on this lock that you want. This lock has several pieces to it. It has inner rings and outer rings to each digit, and this allows us to switch the digits up so we can change the, the number of which we want the digit to be, so we can make different codes and put them together. So here's all the pieces to it. We'll need to 3D print each piece separately. I'll be 3D printing the rings in pairs of threes and the two big pieces by themselves. So let's get started. pieces are done being printed. Here's this piece and this piece here, which is the inner casing, this is the outer casing. And they fit together like this, which is pretty cool. And basically what happens is each one of these circles here have numbers on them. Then you have the inner circles, and inside these inner circles there's these little notches that when they slide in here like this, this thing can slide across them easily, but when you turn it, it no longer can slide. And that's what makes the combination be able to be locked and whatnot. So to be able to change this, basically we can take the loop and let's say we want to set it on zero, we can look at zero. I'm going to put this like this by pushing this loop in and now that digit is set to zero. So if we go through and we set all these to zero here, here's this and then this is the outer ring. So how it works is when this is on here like this, there needs to be something to hold it. Otherwise, if these rings are on here, they could just slide the whole thing off and then you're in it. So they use this, this ring here. It goes onto this, like this. So it holds it on there, so that it holds all the digits on so they don't come off. All right, so I went ahead and sanded these down here so these are a lot smoother, because um, if it was rough, then when the digits are next to each other, they're not gonna turn very easily. Now to actually put the thing together. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these and I've set all the digits to zero and I'm gonna put that on. There we go. So that's all of them. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put the end cap on so that the digits can't come off. And then now we're gonna actually slide the bar in. Like that. So right now you can pull the bar out and in, but once you turn these numbers, there's no way of getting the, that bar out because the numbers are now mixed up. Now you can't pull it out. And when you set it to the right combination, which is all zeros, the digits definitely need a little bit of loosening up here. Zero, zero, and zero. I'll just flatten that on the table. And it should pull out now. Awesome, the lock is complete. I found this really fun and it's amazing to see how 3D printers can 3D print these really interesting intricate locks of all kinds. All right guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Got it all painted up. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take some super glue, glue this pad in here, like that. Put this back and forth. He's got movable arms, and then he's got legs as well that can move also. He just looks. All right, the piece is done, and the bolt stays in there. All right, so now let's go test it. Camera mount complete. <laughs>